Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching around the world. Welcome to Core Sports Fight Night, sponsored by Rain Body Fuel, The Beard Struggle, and Kind of Fit, Kind of Fat, which is, I think, how most of us feel in January. Uh, we will shortly be heading over to the arena in Dubai for a very special exhibition bout. But first, allow me to introduce two very familiar faces to fight fans around the world. Live from LA, former UFC heavyweight champion, Bass Rutten. Welcome, Bass. Great to have you with us. Thank you. Happy to be here. Looking great. Lovely to have you with us. And joining us uh, from Belfast, Northern Ireland, uh, Carl Frampton, two-weight world champion, aiming to make it three at the end of next month. Carl, real pleasure to have you, uh, as always. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be on, boys. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, same. Well, as many of you will know, we are just nine months away from what's being billed as the heaviest boxing match in history. Britain's Eddie Hall, world's strongest man from 2017, takes on Ireland's half for Julius Bjornsson, the man who took that crown the following year. The two have made no secret about their dislike for each other and they will settle their differences September in Las Vegas. Well, in the meantime, Thor is doing all he can to be prepared uh, what better preparation than three rounds against the former European champion? Ireland, Stephen Ward and Man Carl, you know very well. You call him Big Stevie, but he isn't going to be the big man in there tonight, is he? No, I call him Big Stevie. I call everybody big. Everybody's bigger than me, but um, <laughs> Stevie is is dwarfed in this fight, which is a strange sight for me. Um, I actually bumped into Thor once and um, we kind of got squashed in between trying to get out of a door. He's a monster of a man. Um, a little bit worried for Stevie, although he's the boxer in the fight, but I I'm excited about this. Uh, Ward giving away £127 in body weight per the weigh-in results earlier this week. Bjornsson topped the scales at £344. Baz, you met Thor and did a little bit of work with him a few months ago. As a professional heavyweight fighter, you were in with some really big guys over the years, but just put it into words, how big and how imposing is this man? He's, he's unbelievable. He's huge. I was looking at his calves and his calves, and I'm not kidding, this is real, are the same as my thighs. And my thighs are pretty big thighs. So if you have a guy with calves just like that, it's insanity. And then during the show, we were working together. He neck pressed a lady up and I said, wow, that was easy. How many pounds can you do? It's all about 440 pounds. So, you know, that Stevie, Stephen says that it might look like Hulk Hogan versus Rocky. That might happen tonight. Well, Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant, maybe. Um, it's going to be a very interesting style matchup, this. And, Carl, everyone talks about the, the weight differential and how slow they expect Thor to be. But, of course, he was a man that walked around at 200 kilos, over 400 pounds for most of his career, and a, a low for a long time of 350. He's actually going to feel very light and, and probably quite sharp and maybe surprise a few people with his agility in the ring tonight. Yeah, I think so too, you know, because he used to be a former professional basket player, you know, and Stephen Wardy already said it, he saw a movie, he goes, man, he's, he's light on his feet, so I believe the same thing, you know, he's going to work on the balls of his feet, which is something that you don't expect from a big guy like that, and I, if he can pull it off, in and out movement, this could be very interesting. Well, Stephen Ward is the man in the opposite corner, and we caught up with him earlier on this week. <clears throat> Stephen from Belfast, that's about all you gotta know. <laughs> um, no, Stephen, I've uh, been boxing now for 19 years. i um, been professional for about four, four and a half. It's going well. Do you know what, mate? It's a bit mad, right? So, like, I was sitting in the house and my management at MTK phoned me. I said, Where are you? I said, I'm in Belfast, where else am I going to be? And uh, this is all. The Mountain wants to meet you. And I started laughing. I said, The Mountain? Who's called The Mountain? He says, Oh, Game of Thrones. Nah, I don't watch it. I have three kids at home, so I don't get time to watch anything. The only time I get is 10 minutes on the toilet, that's about it. Um, and then it says Thor, so and then I thought it was a joke. I thought, I don't know anyone, I've never heard of anyone called Thor, apart from Thor the, the God. Um, but yeah, they says, listen, you want to go down to Belfast, you get to meet him. He said he was a sound fella, he was dead on. So I went down, I'm sitting at the hotel on my own, and the elevator door opens. And this lad steps out, he's that big, he stepped, he like dips and he steps out sideways out of lift. And I looked at him and I went, Flip, you're a big lad, aren't you? And he like, he started laughing and, but he was dead on and we got talking and he was, he, uh, early on, I could tell that he's, he's a real professional athlete because just the way he talks and he tells you the type of training he's doing. I think he's the type of man that he puts everything and everything he does, you know what I mean? Like, you can see how he done so well and the strong man and, and you see how, personally, I think he's going to do well in the boxing because 
he's asking me, you know, how do you watch to be learning? You know, how do you educate myself? And, you know, what do you do when you do this? He's just like a big sponge, but he's, he's a mean big sponge too. Like, I think, I think it's good publicity. You know, he's, he's, he's a massive lad. He's known all over the, he's known all over the world, isn't he? Um, so it's that aspect of it. It's the, it's the opportunity to be involved. You know, with an event like this, it's massive. You know, why would you not want to? Boxing's taking a hard time at the minute with COVID. There's not many fights happening. You know, it was an opportunity. And I thought, yes, I'd love to do it. I'll get my name out there. But as well, if I'm able to help the big man in any way I can, why not? I think, do you know what? It's always hard to gauge. As I say, I've, I've met Big Thor. I've met him a few times. You know, we've talked. Um, been asking him how he's getting on and training him. We've, we've got a wee bit of a relationship there. But a fighter mentality is different. You know, you don't go into any fight to make up numbers. You know, you don't go into any fight to make to be made a fool of. Um, and it's hard to know because he's never been in this situation before. I have. I know how exhibitions and test matches usually play out. They'll go in, and the, the, the means is to help each other get exposure and experience until someone hits the other person a nice shot, and then person goes, "Hold on a wee minute." He hit me harder than I hit him, and then it just blows up. So it's a hard one to gauge. That's why I don't know what way it's going to go. Yeah, so my man's at MTK. I'm very lucky to have them behind me. They're getting all their fighters out when they can, as often as they can. So I'm hoping April, May, to be in a good fight, potentially, um, and just take any, any call-ups that are ready. But this is great, because it's kept me in the gym. I haven't been sitting in the house, and it's given me a reason to be there. How do you feel about, it, along with Boss Roten, the legend from MMA, do you know what? I'm more annoyed that Carl, I always call him Frampton. I'm more annoyed that Frampton is commentating. That, that doesn't bother me. However, the fact that he posted of him wearing a Thor apparel t shirt and he's texting me and all saying, Team Thor, what's going on? And he thinks it's funny. It's literally, at the start it was funny, but now it's really starting to do my head in. <laughs> all right. So, are you ready for today then? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. I'm looking forward to it. And I can't. I can't wait to get, get in there and get it started. I think we can all agree that it, it is pretty funny. Um, Carl, obviously you go back a long way with Stevie, but it, it's a, an unusual task that he's got ahead of him tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, I, and I'm glad he said yes to this because I, I do believe that the exposure is massive for him. Um, and I think that's um, it could be a lesson to all young fighters that opportunities like this aren't going to arise but when you get the chance to put yourself in the spotlight like this you should always take it because people you need people to know who you are and I think a lot more people will know Stevie after this but another thing I would like to say and Stevie mentioned it there how the professional approach by Thor and I like the way he's going about this I like the fact that he's having a, an exhibition fight and probably another couple before the Eddie, Eddie Hall fight and he will be ready for the Eddie Hall fight um, but I I uh yeah I keep saying it. I'm harping on a wee bit. I'm sl- I am nervous for Stevie. He's given away a lot of weight, although he is the boxer in this fight, but Thor is Thor and he's a monster of a man. My name is Haftur Spurson. I'm thirty two years old. Uh live in Iceland, Reykjavik, and um I was a professional strongman. Sur- now I'm competing in boxing as amateur. I want to get the experience in. I want to get uh, the ring experience, uh, the adrenaline rush that you get before uh, competing. Um, I'm looking for that, and I want to be able to an- analyze my mistakes in a fight, uh, get the pressure uh, before walking into the ring. All, all, all those emotions I want to feel before September. So I want to do this a few times, hopefully three times if I can. Um, so I'll be ready in September. I'd rather get beat here than in September. In September, I'm going to knock someone out. Yeah, I mean, Steven is a... I like, I like Steven. He's a cool, cool guy. Um, a tough guy. This is exhibition match, but I want to learn from this. Um, I want him to go all in. I, wanna, I, wanna, I, I want this to be a good boxing match. I want to I wanna, I wanna learn from this. I want to get better from this. Um, and I want this to become easy. And um, I, 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 even though it's the, even though it's an exhibition match, um, we are still gonna show our skills and, and go at it. It's definitely more exciting. It's, it's gonna help me on the long in the long run. It's gonna 
um, you know, having the crowd there, knowing that there are thousands, millions, hopefully, people watching, is, is going to be, you know, it's going to um, give me the extra experience that I need um, going into the big fight in September. And what about all the negative comments? What is, like, when people say, ah, it's going out of boxer, he's, he's too slow, he's too, does that ever bother you now that it's going to be on such a big platform? There's going to be millions of comments about this is bad, this is good, but do you, how do you deal with the negative comments? The uh, it doesn't bother me. You know, in the end of the day, I know who I am. I know what kind of work I put into this. Uh, I've been training boxing uh, for six months now. I know that I'm no professional, but I have one goal, and that's to knock a guy out in September. And I'm training for that. Um, what, what, what people say, it doesn't bother me, you know. It's, it's all, all fine, all, all, all good. People are always going to talk shit, no matter what, especially when, when you have an athlete that, that used to be the best in his sport. You know, I was the best strongman out there. They're going to expect a lot of things from you. Um, but they have to realize that this is a new sport. I've never done this before. Uh, but still, when you have a fan base, have fans, they expect a lot, a lot from you. I feel I'm as ready as I can be. You know, I feel com com confident in my ability. Um, I, in training, we were, we were doing um, four rounds, five rounds, six rounds of sparring. So with Steve, it's going to be three rounds. Um, and I feel confident going into that. Uh, I feel like my, um, my, um, my shape is, is, is good enough for that. Obviously, Stevie, I've never sparred with him before. I've never fought be with him before. So he might have, you know, a different tempo. He might box differently. He might press me more. I don't know. I, we'll have to wait and see how it, you know, goes. Um, I feel good about it. Um, I know what I can do. I know what I have learned, you know. And we'll just wait and see what's going to happen. Of course it is. It's the most valuable thing in the world. We will send a dozen Viking ships through the landing and raid, pillage, until we make it there. No survivors! Yeah! yeah! We are in the hands of Odin! Yeah! So are you guys doing all of this just for some beard oil? Yeah. 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 We are a community dedicated to those who love fitness and food. We have a mission to show that you can pursue your personal fitness goals and enjoy the process. We are committed to creating a community where you can be and should be proud of your body. No matter what stage of the fitness journey you are on. From, From fat, fat to fit. fit. Hit them PRs, make them gains, and eat that donut. Join the brand, join the message, join the movement. Well, welcome back to Core Sports Fight Night in Dubai, sponsored by Rain Body Fuel, the beer struggle and kind of fit, kind of fat. The first of a number of exhibition bouts, Thor will compete in ahead of his September clash with Britain's Eddie Hall. The man in the opposite corner is Stephen Ward, former European champion, now professional cruiserweight, weighed in 98.6 kilos, 217 pounds, which, Carl, is, is a luxury for the big man. Yeah, it is. He, he's just moved up from light heavyweight to cruiserweight, but he's actually over the cruiserweight limit here. So it's, it's probably... Uh, something feels a little bit alien to be able to eat before weigh-ins and stuff but um he can he can do what he wants when he's got a man across the ring who's 130 pounds heavier on him 
Yeah, he's, uh, he's about your body weight uh, heavier, but he's also lost the equivalent of your body weight in uh, just under six months, Baz. That's uh, quite a transformation. Yeah, and it's something that he really needed to do. I think it's a very smart thing to do. And also these fights coming back on his interview, you know, the fact that he's doing this, because you as well as I do, uh, Carl, being a good fighter in the gym doesn't mean that you can do it under pressure. You know, I, I know guys who work circles around current world champions, but they can't perform it when they do it themselves. So for him to get these vibes in, I think it's very smart. Well, the man who will be introducing the fighters is ready and waiting in the ring. Hand you over to our MC now, Mr. Tom Urquhart. Time for one more. The boy, are you ready for one more? I cannot wait for this one. It is the quiet man against the man mountain. It is a battle of the northerners. It is one man who's been there, done that, against one man stepping into the ring for the very first time. First up, though, an absolute privilege to welcome to Dubai, with a record of 13-1 and 0, the former WBO European light heavyweight champion of the world, standing at six foot of two inches tall, weighing in at 98.6 kg. This cruiserweight is a man who has achieved everything in the game. He comes up against an extraordinary opponent. He is the pride of Belfast, Northern Ireland. Make some noise for Stephen, the quiet man. Ward! Quiet man Stephen Ward is his nickname, but he's one of the nicest guys in the game, as you heard there. Former European light heavyweight champion, 13 and 1. Just that one career defeat came by way of the excellent Richard Bolotniks in his last fight at 175 pounds. I think, Carl, that was an opportunity he couldn't really afford to turn down, but ultimately he was really starting to struggle with the weight at that point. So much fresher, so much fuller as a professional cruiserweight now. And this is the point in his career that I know you believe we'll see the best of Big Stevie Ward. Yeah, I believe so. I think he grew out a late heavyweight uh, a long time ago and the opportunity to fight in the golden contract with MTK was there. He had to take it, although he was he was just absolutely killing himself to make 175. It was insane. Um, but cruiserweight suits him, I think. And I think this is going to bring out the best in him. And his opponent for this final fight of the night, brought to you by these core sports, Sport Night. Our big thanks to Rain, Total Body Fuel, The Bid Struggle, Kind of Fit, Kind of, fit, kind of Fat, MTK Global, Virgil Hospital, and our friends at McGettigan's. Ladies, gentlemen, for the first time, making his debut in the ring, the Titan weight has arrived. The world's ultimate strongman, 2018. The world's strongest man, 2018. A three-time Arnold Strongman Classic winner. Standing at a colossal six foot and nine inches. Weighing in at the Titan weight of 156.2 kg. The pride of Iceland here. In Dubai, Hathor Bjornsson! I made the devil run. I gave him poison just for fun. I had one friend. Well, a uh, star in the world of strongman Bjornsson was top of the podium in 2018, having finished runner up on three occasions and third place on three occasions on the podium for nine straight years. The big Icelander turned his attention in 2020 to breaking Eddie Hall's deadlift world record in the summer, and he did so, pulling a massive 501 kilos, over 1,100 pounds off the floor, taking the record set by the man he'll face in the boxing ring in September. He's been diligent in his preparation so far tonight. It will be, of course, a crucial part of it because, Baz, as much as sparring can teach you, nothing will learn you the hard lessons like going into a big fight itself. Exactly, and him being a professional athlete, he knows this. He will have problem probably in the beginning with strongman, and now he's going to find out if he has it here. But I don't think so. You know, once you are 
uh, familiar with competing in front of an audience and a lot of people, I think he's going to do just fine. And Carl, we know that Stevie will be sticking and moving early on. That seems to be the sensible solution to it because Hapthor, of course, is southpaw. So Ward might find a little bit of joy with the, the right hand, but he can't afford to hold his feet too early on in this one. I, I completely agree. I think I think the main, the objective certainly anyway in the first round is, is to not get hit and try not to get hit as much as possible. Um, I think to try to judge his distance because Thor is a monster of a man. And although he's, this is his first fight, so he's, he's a novice in comparison to Stevie. Sometimes it's difficult to fight novices when you, the novice doesn't know what he's doing himself. So it's hard for the fighter to defend against someone who doesn't know what he's doing. So Stevie just needs to be careful and eyes wide open. Put another blue corner on this occasion with the black shorts and the white boots. It is from Belfast, Northern Ireland, Stephen the Choir Man Ward. And his opponent out of the red corner, making his debut in the ring. Fighting under the flag of Iceland, wearing the Icelandic colours, Hathor Bjornsson. Three, three, three minute rounds coming your way in this exhibition bout. Referee from the World Boxing Council. We'll call him in in a few moments time. Nine minutes of this extraordinary fight right here in Dubai. A first for us all. It's the quiet man against the man mountain. Let's listen in one final time. Okay, gentlemen, this is the main event of the night. Okay, make sure you keep it clean. Keep your punches up anywhere from up here is good. Watch the back of the head, no rabbit punches. Touch them up, keep it clean, good luck. Good luck, says referee Shaz. It's good luck all round. Dubai, make some noise. It's Northern Ireland against Iceland. It is Hathor against War. So Tom Urquhart getting us underway there and Hathor Bjornsson's first experience in a professional boxing ring operating in the South Pole stance. Massive size difference between the two of them. Stevie Ward starts nice and relaxed, just fainting his way into range. I think the feint could be potentially a useful tool for him over the next three rounds, Carl, because it's likely that with his inexperience, Bjornsson will overreact to those kind of feints as Ward just drives a nice right hand into the body. Yeah, I, I, I kind of give that message of instruction to him before going into this fight, that just to keep him busy with your feints, because I think it would it would upset someone who's, who's just getting into this game. But... Thor is, Stevie's doing well here so far, I like the feints, but F Thor, he looks ad more agile than I initially thought he was going to look. Yes, lots of lateral movement. He said he has had a few knee problems, just jumping in and out of range, something he's not used to, and of course pivoting into space. And when you are pivoting with over 400 pounds through those knee joints, it is going to take its toll. But he started okay. Important for him to stay relaxed here, Bass, as well. Yeah, I, I think he's doing great. Normally, when you see somebody fight for the very first time, they just go all out because they don't know about control yet. But what he's doing, moving backwards, that was a very smart thing to do, staying outside the reach, of course, of his opponent. And, and like Carl said, his in-and-out movement is pretty fast. And also, he already cut an angle, I saw, which is something never you never see from a guy who fights his first fight. Yeah, just trying to make that space small for Stephen Ward, who's just been trying to step in under that southpaw jab. Not a bad start from the big man at all. Ward just dropping off the line, just looking for a left into the body. Pushing Thor back into the corner. Yeah. Not, not something we thought we'd see, but of course, if they do get caught up in the clinch, he, his best bet surely is just to try and relax in there. There's no, not a great deal of, uh, there is of joy no, to be gained. There is no point in trying to fight back with this man when, when you're holding on the inside. If, if, he, if he wants to hold on, do you let him hold on, let him throw you around because you're just wasting energy trying to fight him back. Exactly. You see Ward's just sliding in and out of range and just taking those feet back with him when Bjornsson does commit. Just wonder whether he's just trying to set some traps for some pull counters. Wow. That's nice there. Left, nice uh, left right straight. Ooh. And the two exchange blows. And Thor's uh, holding the shots well so far. Yeah, and Stevie's being a bit braver than I'd like him to be. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wanted to prove a point to you, Carl. 
I think so. Um, but this is good from Thor. I think he's adjusted a little bit. At the, at the first half of the round, he threw some wild shots and he missed pretty widely. Um, but he's starting to punch a little bit straighter now um, and look a little bit neater. You know, I had the pleasure of working out with him a little bit. And, uh, you know, he, in the beginning, I saw him pushing. And I say, you're pushing instead of punching. And on the dot, he started striking and pulling his punches. So he listens well to instruction. Huge man. Let's take a look at some of the action from that first round. See Ward just fainting with a jab, stepping in and driving that right hand into the body behind him. Oof. Competitive opening round though, and certainly Thor can, can take a lot of positives from, from this car. Yeah, I think he can. Um, I think that he's looking good for, again, a relative novice in this game. I think he's going the right way about it, but and like I said, it was really important that he adjusted the first half of the fight when he missed widely he started to punch straight and it's almost like Baz says he's someone who's he's learning on the job here and he he's shown that in that round a man who's more to the very top of the game and Stevie can take a Stevie can take a hit I mean he connected with the left hand there in the fight and he didn't even flinch I think Carl you'll, you'll be with me on this that Stevie's punch resistance going at light heavyweight wasn't an indication of anything other than he was just extremely weight trained at 175 to a point that he needed to move up. He's looked much better since he's come up to cruiserweight. Yeah, of course he has. He he had he literally had no punch resistance at 175, and that and that is the issue with making weight. But up at up at cruiserweight now, um, he, Stevie seems to be able to take a shot, which obviously I'm I'm delighted about. He just took one from Big Thor, like Baz said there, so I think his chin's okay. Again, just dropping in and setting up that right hand to the body. Bjornsson cutting off the ring pretty well. Yeah, Bjornsson uh, just needs to hold back on the power a little bit because it's too big of a swing. And if he realizes that he only needs 50% of his power, he still will be hitting really freaking hard. So, and he will be much faster. Yeah, absolutely. I think if he, if he focuses on speed, like, like Baz said, it's the power lands there. If he's punching with 50% intensity, it's, it's still going to hurt because he's such a big guy. So... I think speed should be his main focus from here and going forward. Great movement again, moving backwards, almost like a check right hook. That's something also you don't see a lot. I'm pretty impressed with his distance also to, yeah. to keep the same space in between. Oh, look at that. Whoa, just clipped over the top there, Stephen Ward. Let's have a look at that. Cross hook. Big left hand and then just... Oh. There's the a shoulder blade. <laughs> they coat on, the, on the back, but it tells you all about the force of it, that it sent Big Stevie toppling over. Uh, yeah, just pure force there. Knocked him over with a punch on the shoulder. So um, <laughs> it shows you how, how strong he is. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Ward just on his on his bike now, just using that jab as a, as a range finder. Just inching his way in, fainting well, just fainting a big man into the corner. That's good work. That's lead right hand there and then just ties him up. Yeah, I'm waiting for somebody, since it's an open stance, an orthodox and a southpaw, to, to counter the jab with a cross. You know, both guys can do that. And if that happens, coming from Thor, of course, that's dangerous, but still from Steven as well. Look at that. Again, just Thor commits in those straight lines. Ward just moves back to take this thing out of shots. That's what he knew he had to do. He'll be becoming a little bit more relaxed as the... The fight goes on, Carl. Big Stevie, he'll, he'll understand what's in front of him now in terms of the power and, and the pace. And, yeah. and he'll feel a little bit more comfortable to go I, to work. I think the, the important round was the first round. It's always a feeling out round just to find out what your opponent's got. And um, what, I, what I do like about Thor here is he falls in sometimes, but when he's moving backwards, his, his distance is actually pretty good. And he can take a step back and, and make Stevie fall short. So um, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from both guys. He wore just stepping around to his right hand side. Again, just yeah. measuring with that lead hand. Oof. Yeah, he felt that shoulder blade punch. <laughs> and he goes, I don't <laughs> want to get hit with that thing. <laughs> you talk about as well landing the straight right hand to the body of a southpaw a lot, but you're hitting you know, just thick muscle there. I, mm. I don't know if it's having, having too much of a fact on the big lad here, but it's, I suppose it's a, it's a decent shot just to keep him at bay. Yeah, and I think when you start doing it later in the fight, you know, when they start breathing, they can't control the breathing anymore. If you connect on the breathing in part, yeah. well, he can do 5,000 sit-ups a day, but you're going down. Yeah. So. <laughs> so round two in the books, just three minutes left to...
go between Hathbill Bjornsson and the man on your screen there, Stephen Ward. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from that second round. They are in a proper fight. There's the shoulder punch. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, we know he can punch then, that's for sure. But Ward landed a couple of nice straight right hands in that round two, just selling in the feints to the body, mixing up those levels and then coming upstairs with it. But Bjornsson fought back when he was caught. Yep. I love what Stephen is doing, setting up with body shots because you know suddenly he's going to switch it to a headshot. Yeah, the feints are really important for Stephen, I think. Hmm. This is where today and those subsequent exhibition matches for Thor this year are going to be so important. It's, it's less about finding out what he's good at. It's it's about what he needs to work on. And I guess that's where Stevie can be of, of great help to him here. Yeah, and also being a southpaw, from what I understand, uh, or an orthodox fighter and Hall is the same. Or is Hall a southpaw? Three minutes, Dubai. I think, I think Hall is an orthodox fighter as well. Oh, so perfect. Yeah, he is, yeah. I'm saying orthodox fader as if he is a fader, but he will yeah. be soon. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's an orthodox strong man in boxing gloves. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Nice jab there from Ward. Yeah, he's he starts starting. finding his reach. His yeah, range. seems more comfortable with the uh, with the range now. Bjorn's yeah. just trying to use that jab hand as a as a kind of as a guard device just to keep the uh, the jabbing hand of Stephen Ward occupied. He's just trying to come around the side of it, isn't he? Step off to his left-hand side. Nice one. I think that's something Thor can work on from now until the fight with Eddie Hall is about moving forward and, and bringing his feet with him rather than falling in because sometimes he misses there. But again, this is all a learning experience for him. Yeah, and then yep. there was a little bit of blood from the, the nose of the Icelander, just evidence of some shots that got through, but he caught Ward with uh, straight left hand that time. And again, Thor moving backwards the whole time. Those swings, you know, he will know in the next fight to tone those down a little bit. He doesn't need to be that open. And not because they can hit him in between. That also, of course, but especially because they can see it coming. I'm impressed with Thor's lungs here. He's uh, he's obviously a big guy, but he's, he's thrown back here. And three rounds doesn't sound like much to the average man, but three three-minute rounds is tough to do when you've never been in this sport before. And... And he seems he seems to be have plenty left here. Yeah, and, and he hasn't lost too much in his shape either. He, he seems to kind of still have a reasonable amount of balance. His, his legs certainly have slowed a little bit, but that's to be expected here because Ward is is setting a, a reasonably good pace and he's quick. He's on the move. He's he's forced Thor to to move probably more than Eddie Hall would in in truth. Yeah. Wow. Oh, a little good bit of caginess, shot. right hand counter there from Stephen yeah. Ward. Just made Bjornsson fall short. I think he's hurt the big man there. Just pushing him back onto the ropes, working away to the body and thought, well, this is where he needs to just learn to hold on and just spoil. And as I say that, he, maybe he heard me, but he uh, he has done so. He might Connect with some great body shots. So That was a nice counter from Ward. Good finish to this third round from him. Bjornsson's head seems clear. Just steps Oof. in again to yep. encounter. Just didn't judge the distance quite right there, did he? And just got caught in no man's land after he missed that left hand. He's got to throw more straights, you know, to throw a jab and then a hook. And a hook sets you up for the counter, you know. Maybe it's better to throw a one-two. Oh, again. Well, another big right hand from Stevie Ward. And Bjornsson again pushed back onto the ropes. He's eaten two or three clean right hands in the final minute and a half of this third round. But he's... Well, he's passed the chin check early. Yeah, he's proved he can take a shot and fair play to him. He, he, had a, he had two or three big right hands in that round and he's, he's done okay. Ladies and gentlemen. A blood on the face. Wow. The As final bell goes. Lots of respect together. as there has been throughout the build-up. And, and no doubt, Carl, this has been a terrific learning experience for, for Bjornsson. And I think he could do far worse than invite Stevie over to Iceland and, and maybe help him to continue his apprenticeship this year. Absolutely. I think that that's a conversation that the guys have already had. Stevie is a, is a good guy and, and I think he would like to help Thor. Um, I think that's something that will benefit Thor. Um, but, the, you know, considering this is the big guy's first fight, I think they should be pretty pleased with how that went. Um, if I was in Team Thor anyway, I certainly would be pleased with how that went. And Stevie, obviously, doing what he done, moving away and landing a few shots in the, in the last round, I think he should be happy with his performance too. Never lose.
never lose. I always win. I pay my dues. So let's begin. Write it down, write it down now. Look, old boy got the crown now. I'm gonna sing. Pick it up, switch it up flow. Oh, what a pity, you know what a shame. Yo, what a winner, you should have been I just be rapping my city in vain. Keep it up and I'm willing to train. I just be ripping and throwing the same. Yo, just be dripping the butt of the rain. I just be whipping you, living in pain. Keep it up and it go to your brain. Do be switching, no competition in the vision. Listen, movie tripping. I'm not the same, I end up on you ripping. Movie tripping. I'm not the one to play the stuff. Heavily guarded. Of course it is. It's the most valuable thing in the world. We will send a dozen Viking ships through the landing and raid, pillage until we make it there. No survivors! Yeah! yeah! We are in the hands of Ogun! Yeah! So, are you guys doing all of this just for some beard oil? Yeah. 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 And, and pleasantries, I'm sure, a great experience for, for Stevie as well. Absolute. He would have appreciated being involved Titans in this. The ring. Stevie, let's go a quick word with you first. Cameras over there. So, um, first and foremost, you've been in the ring with some big guys. You've been in the ring with some extraordinary boxers during your time. That's his first time in the ring. Your thoughts? Oh, I thought he looked great. I thought he was. I've never seen a big man that say he's moved so well. And I got a bit curlless and he hit me a shot, shook me to my boots, like so. I got on my bike and started running. In terms of the night, in terms of the experience, nice to be back in front of a, a crowd. Yeah, I mean, we back. And everywhere you, where you go, you always get people from home to see a few friends and stuff in the crowd, which is great. Well, thanks very much to everyone that came out. Really appreciate you. 2021, obviously, a bit of uncertainty, but looking forward to what's ahead. Yeah, yeah, with, with my management at MTK Global, they're getting every box of the, the opportunity they can get. So I just have to rely on them. Stephen and Abton, Jen, thank you so much indeed for being with us. Ladies and gents, the quiet man. And Hathor, let's get a quick word with you for the crowd. After all the training, after all the experiences, you get into the ring for the first time, you get punched in the face for the first time. How does it feel? feels great. I love this. I just want to firstly thank you guys. Thank Don for making this happen. And also thank Steve. You know, he's a... That guy is unbelievable. What a heart he, he has. I doubt that many people would want to step into a ring with a guy that weighs like almost half more than he does um, but he has the biggest heart ever you know and to be willing to come here do this exhibition with me means a lot i need this i need the experience steven is the same height as my opponent that i'm gonna fight in uh, september and he's right hand as well he's quick he's powerful this was great and i Cannot wait to get back home, back training to get better. I've been training boxing now for a bit over, over, over six months. And I love this sport. I have a huge respect for the sport. Huge respect for the athletes. Uh, and anyone in, involved in this sport is great. And uh, I just, I know how much hard work you have to put into to become less like me decent. You know, I had to put in so much work. I trained so much, and uh, but this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Thank you so much, guys. Quick word, if we can, Thor. Thor. A quick word, Thor, if we may, just because we know that Eddie 
was watching. Your reference, uh, Eddie, uh, who is watching on with interest at the moment. This is ahead of the big fight, uh, the world's uh, heaviest fight uh, in uh, Las Vegas later on this year. I know he's watching at the moment. Got a message for Mr. Hall? Um, you know, Ari, you just have to train, man. This is, I'm taking this seriously. I've, I've seen your training sessions, and, and you're this pensive guy, this poor guy that you're just pensing, and he's not allowed to punch you back. If you want to beat me, you have to at least spar and get punched. Uh, if, you, if you're not taking this seriously, I'm going to knock you out first round, man. So get, take this seriously, start training as a, as like you, you're saying you're training hard and that and that, you know, you're probably in a good shape, but bro, what I've seen doesn't look good. I know I've been, I, I know, I know I've been getting hate as well. That, that's, that's fine. I can get it. I can, that's fine. I know I'm a huge guy. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be the fastest guy. But when I started this journey, I want to get the technique first. I wasn't th th thinking about the speed. I want to get the technique first and then focus on speed and everything else. I'm working on my, on my endurance. The fight against Eddie is going to be six rounds. I promise you, I will be in absolutely the best shape of my life September this year. And I'm going to knock him out. Let's go. We will watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a true gent. To you, Hathor, and all your team in your corner, thank you so much indeed for being with us here in Dubai. Ladies and gentlemen, one final time, put your hands together for these two true champions, Stevie Ward and Hathor Bjornsson. Well, very interesting to hear Hathor's comments there. And, and Baz, you know, I think a lot of people may just assume that some of these strong men are kind of mindless lifting machines, but actually he's a dedicated athlete. He understands the value of technique and the progression that that gave him in his strongman career. He, he understands the, the thousands of hours that go into painstaking drills and, and just that mindset um, is so crucial when it comes to any kind of combat sport. And the fact that he has that and he understands that presumably he's going to stand him in pretty good stead over the next eight or nine months. Yeah, I think it's good. I think this was really good for him. I think I have a feeling that Eddie Hall maybe should do something like this as well, so he can see. I watched the transformation of Eddie Hall. He's also looking incredible. If you see the before and after pictures, it's like, wow, now he's got abs. Before it was like this big guy. So he's taking it serious as well, and that's going to make for a good fight. Six rounds or three minutes, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot, for, but for guys like that, that's a lot. And you know there's going to be a lot of anger. It's not going to be as relaxed as this one, you know, so the movement backwards, I hope he can keep it just like he was doing here. Yeah, he was shifting his weight very, very well, Carl. We're just talking about the difference between Thor and Eddie's training. Eddie hasn't really been doing any, any head sparring, really taking any shots. And I mean, it is a crucial part of preparing for a fight, isn't it? That you get used to the, the feeling of taking shots. Eddie said, look, it's a sport of hitting and not getting hit. And that's all very well. But when he's in the ring with Thor, at some point, he is going to get hit. And if he hasn't been used to that, it could be a shock for him. Of course, he, he needs to know what it's like to get to get punched in the face, punched in the body. And I, um, I don't know if that's the right approach by him. I, I think that, in my opinion, I think that Thor is having the right approach. He's sparring. He's doing a lot of cardio work to get his lungs ready for the six rounds. He will have another few exhibitions where he's in these sort of pressurized situations. If, if Eddie Hall isn't doing that and isn't preparing uh, the way he should be, he potentially could be in for a shock on the night. Well, we've got a, a great build-up over the next nine months. There will be in a number of exhibition bouts uh, to hone his craft. And I'm sure Eddie Hall will have a close eye on all of them. Uh, Baz, Carl, it's been an absolute pleasure to call this one with you. Look forward to being back for more. Take care and have a good uh, 2021. And thank you at home for watching as well. This Core Sports World uh, exhibition bout between Hatfield Bjornsson and Stephen Ward. Chris Lloyd here with Bass Rutten and Carl Frampton, uh, sponsored by Rain, Total Body Fuel, The Beard Struggle, and Kind of Fit, Kind of Fat. From Dubai, take care, everybody, and we'll see you again very soon.